Asalamu alaikum. Katika kesi ya si topics zetu leo tunaangalia the equation of a circle. A circle is drawn in two dimensions. Inachorwa kwenye y axis na x axis. Unachukua coordinates, unachora circle kamili ambayo katikati yake iko na radius. Na mara nyingi wani hii katikati center na radius ndio inatumika kuchora circle. So today we are supposed to look at how we can derive the general form for the equation of a circle using the famous nani Pythagoras theorem. I hope unamjua Pythagoras theorem na unamkumbuka vizuri. Pythagoras theorem ilikuwa inasema vipi? a squared plus b squared is equals c squared. Ambazo hizi ziko <coughs> kwenye right angle triangle. Huku a, huku b na hypotenuse c. a squared plus b squared is equals c squared. Kazi ya primary hiyo. Naam, turudi kwa hii circle yetu. Let us say we have a circle ambayo hii center iwe ni a units kuja hivi na b units. Kwa hivyo hii center tuite a b ndo coordinates zake hiyo kisha we take any point on the circle ambayo tutachukua hapa ili iwe rahisi kuionesha radius lakini any of these points on this circle kisha hii point tuite vipi tuite x and y now from these two points we want to derive the general form for the equation of a circle tutafanya vipi utaunganisha hapa hivi chore right angle triangle pap pap he point coordinates zake zitakuwa vipi ukitaka x coordinates siwa x ya, ya, ya songa kwenda hivi kwa hivyo x coordinates utaangalia hapa tuko kwenye x coordinate gani utaona tuko kwenye x coordinate inayoitwa x kwa hivyo hapa itakuwa point inaitwa x na y coordinate kwa tuangalia along this axis kwenda hivi. Kwa hivyo kwenda hivi tukiangalia hapa hapa ilikuwa ni y lakini hapa kwenye line hii ilikuwa ni nini? Ilikuwa ni b. Kwa hivyo coordinate ya hapa ya y itakuwa ni b. So these are the coordinates tatu tunazozihitaji hapa hapa na hapa. Now we want to derive the equation of a circle using Pythagoras theorem. Kumbuka kutoka katikati paka huku mwisho panaitwa r ni radius sababu imeanza katikati paka mwisho wa circle. Na sisi tunataka nini? Sisi tunataka to derive equation ambayo itatupatia radius. Kwa hivyo tutasema this squared plus this squared is equals hypotenuse squared ambayo hypotenuse yetu hapo ni nini? Ni r. Naona right angle triangle hiyo. This squared plus this squared is equals r squared. Hapa paka hapa tuweza derive vipi? Tuweza sema ni change in x hapa mpaka hapa. X imetoka a mpaka x. Kwa hivyo hiyo tutaita vipi? Tutasema x minus a squared alafu plus butuangalie na huku upande wa y kumebadilika vipi? Hapa mpaka hapa. Y imetoka b paka y. Kwa hivyo tutasema ni y minus b. Kwa hivyo x minus a squared plus fungua brackets y minus b squared is equals r squared kwa sababu r ndio nini ndo hypotenuse hapa this squared plus this squared is equals r squared na hivyo kwa ufupi ndo tume derive the general form for the equation of a circle using pythagoras theorem hivi ndivyo inavyopatikana equation of a circle kumbuka center ilikuwa ni a na b wapi a na b center ilikuwa a na b na xy was any point along the circle. Sasa acha tuangalie example moja ndo tuzidi kufahamu. Naam, example ya kwanza. Derive the equation of a circle with center 2 3 and a radius of 5 units. Utasema nini? General equation inatuambia hivi x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equals r squared. Kwa hivyo utasema x minus the first coordinate ya katikati x coordinate ni 2 x minus 2 squared plus y minus 
3 squared is equals to 5 squared. Ambayo ni ngapi? 5 squared ni 25. Hivi ndo itakuwa the equation of this circle. Lakini mara nyingine itakuja kwa njia ambayo isha funguliwa funguliwa. Kwa mfano hii, x minus 2 squared ya funguka vipi? Unakumbuka quadratic identities. Takuwa x squared minus 2ab. Takuwa 2 times x times 2 ni minus 4x. Alafu plus 4. Kisha plus. Hii ukifungua itakuwa vipi? y squared minus 6y plus 9. Alafu is equals to 25. Ukikusanya vizuri utaanza hivi x squared alafu plus y squared kisha minus 4x alafu nyingine kwa wapi minus 6y kisha wachukua hii 4 plus 9 16 16 wairusha kule inakuwa minus 16 25 aa 4 plus 9 ni 13 ukirusha kule uki minus 25 minus 13 itakuwa 12 wairegesha huku inakuwa minus 12 is equals 0 So fikiria ingekuwa ingekuja question hivi. Here hapa i question derive the center. Ingebidi kwanza ufactorize uje hapa kisha ufactorize vizuri ndo urudi hapa. Na hii kufactorize kupanda juu kurudi hapa huwa tunatumia completing the square method. Hebu tuangalie kesi ya hii question tuone zinavyokuja. Lakini kumbuka kwamba muhimu ni hapa center ni a na b kisha huku is equals to r squared kwa sababu hapa juu tulitumia the Pythagorean theorem. Now, question moja yo. Find the center and the radius of a circle represented by this equation. x squared plus y squared minus 10y plus 16 is equals to 0. Kitu cha kwanza cha kufanya ni nini? We factorize paka ije x minus a squared plus y minus b squared. Hapo ndo utaweza kufind center na radius. Sawa sawa? Aya tuanze kuifactorize. X squared haina mwenzake, kwa hivyo tuiandike vile vile x squared. Y squared ina mwenzake huyo hapa 10y, kwa hivyo tafactorize vipi? Tutatumia completing the square method. Ambao utaanza y squared minus 10y plus dash, kwa sababu tunataka tutengeze perfect square. Kisha plus 10y plus dash is equals hii plus 16 wairusha kule inabadilika negative 16 lakini kwa sababu huko umeongeza plus dash na huko pia unaweka plus dash. Ingekuwa tu factorize kwa sababu ya x pia ingekuwa tumeanza labda x squared plus 6x plus dash kisha huko pia dash zingekuwa mbili. Lakini mara hii ni y peke yake ndio tofactorize. Ah tuendelee haraka haraka. Hii dash y yajazwa vipi? Formula yake kumbuka ya ku complete the square ni vipi? B divided by 2 squared is equals to AC when you are perfecting a quadratic expression. Quadratic expression yetu yanza hivi ay squared minus by plus c. Kwa hivyo kwenye y squared tayari hapa ilikuwa ni a tayari ni 1. Kwa hivyo hii a yetu hapa haina tatizo tena 1 times c bado itakuwa ni c. Muhimu ni b. b divided by 2 ni 10 divided by 2 ambayo itakuwa ngapi? plus 5 squared. Ingekuwa ni kwa mfano 7 over 2 ningewaacha tu vile vile 7 over 2 squared kisha huku ngaja ngaeka 7 over 2 lakini hapa imekuja rahisi 10 divided by 2 ni 5 kwa hivyo hapa plus 5 squared na huku mwisho pia nitakuja nitaongeza plus 5 squared tukikamilisha hii factorization x squared hana mwenzake kwa hivyo ukimfactorize utafactorize hivi tu x 0 squared ambayo tushaiona the first coordinate of the center ni 0 plus hii to factorize vipi unachukua y minus waruka hii watumia ya mwisho y minus 5 squared is equals negative 16 plus 25 ni ngapi utapata 9 na kumbuka equation ilikuwa ni x minus a y minus b is equals r kwa hivyo hapa x minus a tutaona kwamba center is equals 0 na hapa kulikuwa na 5 ingekuja y plus 5 hapa ningeweka negative 5 kwa sababu kwenye ile equation ilikuwa ni y minus b kwa hivyo center ni 0 5 na radius is equals kumbuka hii 9 ni r squared kwa hivyo radius itakuwa root of 9 ambayo itakuwa ni 3 units kwa sababu hatujui ni centimeters ama ni vipi Naam, tayari hiyo. Unaanza tu step 1, step 2, step 3. Kama hujui kutumia hii formula ya completing the square, tafuta video yetu nyingine 
ufahamu uh, santo mio ni KCSC question tumetoa kwenye kitabu kinaitwa KCSC Med Familia kitabu hiki ni lazima uwe nacho kama wewe ni mwanafunzi uh, santo